What's up, YouTube? What's up, everyone? I'm back with a new video. So, Wakanda Forever. Today, it's finally here, guys. The second trailer. I'm so excited. But also, it's it's just bittersweet to not have Chadwick in this movie. I was one of the, the, the few people, or maybe a lot of people, I don't know, but I, I wasn't sure what, what was going to happen with Wakanda Forever. I wasn't even sure if it was the right move to even do another one. But I, I have, you know what? I trust Ryan Coogler, I trust Letitia Wright, Kevin Feige, and everybody involved in this movie because I think they're gonna deliver something special to us. I think this movie is really for Chadwick. They really um, are going to show, I think, in this movie what it is to lose someone and like just continue on because this is Wakanda, it's from the people of Wakanda. Of course, you lost your king, but now you have to continue. And and that, that, that's a thing of life too. <clears throat> someone dies we 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 are all over the place and then we have to start uh, rising once again so i think this movie that's what they're going to do so i think this is gonna be maybe one of the more mature movies of the mcu well the first black panther was already uh, pretty serious and everything so i think this movie is gonna be even more and well like i said like it's not even because it, it could, it's not like it can be fun. It's just like I think it's gonna be very serious because we have a very serious situation here that it's unfortunately the 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 death of Chadwick Boseman, our Black Panther. So, so yeah. But like I said, I really trust Kevin Feige, Ryan Coogler. I trust everyone that they're going to deliver one of maybe one of the most memorable and beautiful movies of the MCU, hopefully. And I'm I'm going to be there for sure because like I think this movie has a lot. But a lot potential and has a lot to offer to everyone MCU fans the black community the Latin community now and many more like and also yeah speaking of Latin community I'm really excited to see finally like uh, Latinos being represented in another way and especially like so this might be polemic what I'm gonna say but this is the actor it's his words Tenok Huerta who plays Namor the king of, of uh, uh, Talocan, I think it's the, the, the new city. So he said in an interview that he feels that in Mexico and many other Latin America countries, unfortunately, they, they always represent us with, the, with a lot of white people. And that's not a bad thing. The only thing that it's bad is that we don't include too much uh, dark skin or li like my skin or maybe even like the actor he's even darker than me so they don't they don't include too much uh, those people and when they do they're either the poor guy uh, the drug dealer guy so like so so many cliches things and this this is the thing guys about inclusion like I want you to hear me for a moment like I'm not saying here we should take away uh, jobs from white latino people i'm saying we should increase we should add more to others too not just uh white, white latinos we want everyone white and um white and yeah white latinos men and women brown latinos white uh, men and women and black latinos as well like women and men like that's what we want if there's 10 chairs well let's add up six more or 10 more it's not about well if there's only 10 chairs there i'm gonna erase like five others so i can put some inclusion there no that's not that, that that's what i think people are afraid that they are here to take up like jobs but at least in my point of view i don't know how much in hollywood does it work and i i don't know how much they respect it but from my point of view that's what i that's what i see about inclusion it's about including others because there are kids like asian kids uh latino kids and every every kids like they're gonna dream of us like they're gonna see us and they're gonna be like yeah if they could i can too but if you don't have no one that even looks like you, even sounds like you, likes what you like, or looks, yeah, lo yeah, looks like you, like physically, um, of course you're gonna be like, I'll never be there because that's not for me. Like that's uh, that's maybe for other other kind of people, but it's not for me. But now that's what we're trying to do. We're trying to put as many people as we can because that is representation. Because that's how the world is now. Like we have so many different cultures, so that's important. Like and so that's why like. This movie also is really about inclusion. That's what the actor said. He said, without inclusion, he wouldn't be there. And I and I believe him. Yeah, like the guy comes from the, <clears throat> sorry, from the hood, and I believe him. And that's the thing. Like that. That's why I really want you to pay attention. Like inclusion is not about taking jobs. It's about putting other jobs for others that 
didn't have that opportunity before and that's the thing so let's continue that way i understand yes like there are many my, my problem right now with hollywood is that many studios they, they just they, they want to cash grab money and they they say like they're inclusive but i feel like that inclusion is just it's just like to yeah like like to to soar on quote uh be lazy and just grab money uh there, there was so many in the past but anyway like this video is not about that this video is really about black panther and about yeah inclusion because black panther is an inclusion too like look at this we have a more a one billion movie dollar who nobody knew it was going to be one billion black panther nobody knew not even marvel i think so that that's really important like that that's the thing like because they used to say before like uh, black people women uh probably latino asian they don't sell tickets but they do sell tickets that's why it's important to watch these movies it's important to go encourage like if you're from the lgbt if you're black community like, it's important to to encourage also the products that they want to they want to put of course you have to to see like is it really legit or they're just trying to cash grab but i am really hopeful that studios they they more and more they will understand what is inclusion and they will start to to bring more so anyway for me a latino who is a little bit more darker like i, I feel really proud that they took a dark skinned latino to represent like a king this time <clears throat> because i don't see that too much i don't see that too often and of course like you like me like we all we all had comments about our skin or about where we come from and everything so that that's why like um i feel like the, these these little steps are really a good way to for the future for for our kids for the next generation to be like yeah actually i can go and I, actually even for us like you you could be like yeah me too i can be one day there where tena huerta is right now i could be there one day too anyway i think i'm talking too much guys i'm sorry i'm so sorry but this was really important for me this comes from my heart like i said i just want good movies a good writing like a good time at the movies and hey if people can relate if people can be represented that will like mean the world for me seriously so yeah all right guys so i'm gonna stop talking because actually <laughs> i should even take some water because my throat is starting to be dry all right guys <clears throat> so i can't wait for this trailer seriously all right so guys in three two one let's go marvel studios oh my god for child big man <sighs> only the most broken people His people did not call him general or king. They called him Kukul Khan, the feather serpent god. Oh. Killing him will risk eternal war. He's coming for the surface world. Oh. Oh my god, this one looks good. know what you whisper. They have lost the protector. Oh my god, man. Now is our time to strike. Oh my god. Oh my god, I'm hurt. Show them who we are. Oh, my God. Black Panther. Oh, man. Wow. Oh, man. 
Uh, just just seeing that of Chadwick was was something, huh? Ah, uh, the helmet of poor Chadwick. Guys, this the I like I really love the trailer. I I think the trailer is really cool. Uh, I think actually, <clears throat> I don't want to get ahead of myself too much, but I think Black Panther: Wakanda Forever could go again to uh, at the Oscars. I think they could actually win uh, costume design because the costumes look phenomenal. Like what Namor is wearing, like the Mayan aspect, <clears throat> it's crazy, just crazy. Um, also, like all the um, the cinematography, I, I feel like it's it's great. I'm, I'm sorry, I'm just fixing this. So I feel it's really great. Like the cinematography looks so beautiful. Um, I hope the CGI is gonna be a bit better because uh, when Namor is flying, I don't I don't know. Maybe I, I watched it quickly, but um, I feel like uh, it could improve a little bit. That that's my point of view right now. Um, but no, seriously, it's just I'm I'm really excited. Like I feel like this could be. For sure, look, I'm gonna say this right now, probably, I I'm, I don't think I'm even going to eat my words because <clears throat> I think this is what's going to happen. This will be the most memorable MCU Phase 4 movie, that's for sure. Is it going to be the best? It could be, but this is going to, going to be the most memorable movie of MCU Phase 4. And I think, yeah, it could be potentially the best movie of MCU Phase 4. We'll see about that, but for now, like, like I said, it's gonna be a roller coaster, guys. Like a roller coaster of emotions here, and you could just feel it from the trailer. <laughs> you you could see it in my reaction, seriously. And ah, oh, uh, I'm just so excited to see this movie. But also, like, um, I just wish, yeah, Chadwick was here. But anyway, he's not. But wherever he is, like, he's gonna be proud. I hope so. And yeah, and us too. We have to be proud. We have to continue. And don't worry, Chadwick, your legacy is not over. Thank you, guys. I'll see you in the next video. Peace, guys.